Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. This is our second and last practice of the week for the letter U. Earlier in the week, we did words that started with letter U, like a uh, a uh, umpire, a uh, a uh, umpire, and a uh, a uh, umbrella, a uh, a uh, umbrella, and a uh, a uh, up. We also did some words that started with you, you saying its name, like United States and un, whoops, unicycle. That's a bike with only one wheel and you sit on top and no handlebars. Not a great idea for Miss Terry to try. I don't have that skill. And yeah, yeah, unicorn, yeah. Yeah, unicorn. Those all start with you saying its name. You, you, you. Words starting with you, where you says its name. So we know that you can say you, it can say a, uh, and it can say ooh. You'll learn more of that, about that next year. Alrighty, well next year for those of you who are going to be in kindergarten, but some of you will have another year with me because you get a whole nother year of preschool before you go to kindergarten. Alrighty, so now um, that's what we practiced earlier in the week. Today we're going to focus more on writing the letter U, what U looks like, where it falls in the alphabet, and we're going to be do, doing some cutting out of the letter U. All right, so we're going to start with where does U fall in the alphabet? We're going to go back through all of the letters that came before so we know where U is in the alphabet. We've done a lot of letters this year, and we are almost finished with the alphabet. So we've been through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, we're still not to you, T, U, wow, that was a lot of letters that came before U, U is for umby umbrella, so we made it all the way to U, that's a lot of letters, let's see how many letters we have left. V, W, X, Y, N, Z. We're almost done. How many letters was that? Five letters? So after U, we have V. There's one, two, three, and four. V, W, X, Y. Only four more letters left after U. Wow, we've come a long way in the alphabet, haven't we? All righty. So now we're ready to um, try and write some of those U's. Set that over there. I'm going to slide these up. We're going to start with this U. We're going to start with the uppercase U and see how we do that. It's pretty easy. Now remember, where do we start our letters? At the top. So we start at the top and then we go down, up, and around. Down, up, and around. It's a curve. It starts out as a line, then we curve it around and do another line. Down, up, and around. Down, up, and around down, up, and around, down, up, and around. Look at that, pretty easy. 
This is something you could try with your sidewalk chalk, or you could try it in the sandbox with your finger. You can try all kinds of ways of practicing that letter U. Now, the lowercase u, we usually don't practice that, but just for fun, since they look so similar, let's practice that a little bit. You'll be dealing a lot with lowercase letters when you start writing words in kindergarten. And if you have, uh, when you're writing your name, you'll be writing, when you're practicing your name for kindergarten, you'll write the first letter with an uppercase and the rest will be lowercase. So if you're a grown up and your child is going to kindergarten in the fall, remember, practice writing your name this summer and you always start with the uppercase and then do lowercase. Some people teach their kids to do all uppercase, but when you get there, they're going to want you to do the lowercase letters. So practice that over the summer just with your child's name. Okay. All righty. So lowercase u, I'm going to go down, up, and down again with a line. I'm going to do that same shape, but I'm going to go back down with a stick, back down with a line. So I'm going to do my u and back down, u and back down, u and back down, u and back down. So that lowercase u is a little bit different. Okay, so you can practice some of those too, but for now, you can practice those uppercase letters. Those are the ones we want you to recognize at first. That's kind of your first step for recognizing letters. Um, and then you can move on to those lowercase, especially for writing your name. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to um, your packet. Now your packet's a little bit different this week because here is your, um, our curves and lines, U. And you'll notice it looks a little different than the ones I've sent you before. You can't see the sticks on it. That's because this is one of the few letters, uppercase letters, where we can't use the wooden pieces to build it. They're not the right shapes. Um, so let me pull that out and show you. So remember, we have long lines and short lines. We have big curves and little curves. So um, we do have kind of a long line and a long line, kind of like the letter U. Um, and then if I take a short curve, I can make something that kind of sort of looks like a U, but not quite. It doesn't quite work with our wooden letters. So we're not going to try that today. That's why this one on the front looks different. But you can use this. Use your finger to make one. You could put Cheerios on it and build a U. You could color it. So see if you and your grown-up can figure out what you can do with this since it's not a wood curve, you. Figure out another way to practice your letter U. All right. Then you're going to make <clears throat> your Play-Doh U. So in your starter kit, you should have some clay or some Play-Doh. You're going to roll some Play-Doh snakes, and you're going to build your letter U. Um, if you want to give your child some practice and you're new to this program, you're going to want to go back to the beginning of our of the blog, back to the letters from August and September and October, so the A, B, C, those early letters, and do some of those videos where you make the Play-Doh snakes. It's great practice. And then you can use the, that same method to make your letter U. You'll catch on if you go back and try those. All right, so I'd like everyone to do their Play-Doh use this week or this weekend. <laughs> and now we're going to cut out our letter U's. So first we're going to have to put some shapes around those letter U's. I think today I am going to do, I'm going to do my best to make circles. Now they won't be perfect circles. They might look more like an oval, but I'm going to try for a circle. 
Okay. Actually, I'm going to do a circle around the big one. I'm going to change my mind. And I'm going to do a square around the little U. Down, over, up, and over. Okay. So we're going to do one that's all curve cutting and one where we're going to cut four lines. So that'll give us some good practice. So let's go out and let's go ahead and pull out your starter kit. Grab that scissors. Alrighty. Now remember with scissors, do you remember how this works? Thumb in the top, all your fingers in the bottom, just like that. And always when we're cutting, thumbs up, thumbs up when we're cutting. So we don't want to cut like this. We don't want to cut like this. We want to make sure we have thumbs up when we're cutting. Now, You'll notice in a lot of my videos, my elbow's way up here. <laughs> That's not actually how we cut. Miss Terry has some challenges in trying to show people how to do this. So um, my OTs have reminded me, you're really supposed to be having it down here and relaxed when you're cutting. So that's how you're going to practice. I'll try and show that um, a little bit right now. And um, I'll get my head out of the shot so you can see what I'm doing. So first, I'm going to, actually I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to cut on the line and I'm going to relax my hand and I'm going to use my helper hand and I'm going to cut across, all the way across just like that. All right, now I'm going to do the circle around my U. Remember we're going to use helper hand that holds the paper and our worker hand's going to do the cutting. And I'm going to have to turn the paper as I cut. Notice how my elbow's down. <laughs> okay. Just like that, just keep turning the paper. Now as we're practicing, it's probably not gonna look like that. And that's still not a perfect circle, is it? But for kindergarten cutting, that's good. That's a good job. Perfect isn't the goal, but the best we can is the goal. Okay, helper hand holds the paper. This time we're going to be cutting four lines. It's going to look a little different. I'm still going to have to turn my paper though. I'm going to cut there, and then I'm going to turn, cut up, and turn, cut on the line, and turn, and cut on the line. This time I cut out a square. All right. Okay, well, I think that's pretty good for our U practice today and our getting ready for kindergarten. Thanks for sharing some time with me. I'll catch you later. Bye now.